because their lives change, the symptoms disappear. So if you come in with a pain, and when you leave, you don't have a pain, something's different. If you've had a chronic pain for 20 years, and there were no results with the traditional therapies or traditional medication, and suddenly you uh, don't have the pain, something went on, so you get results. And it's the results that prove if it's efficient or not. Because if there are no results, there would be no clients. Sometimes the change is not so quick from one second to the other, it's slowly. And it's a process and maybe they are not aware of it. If they are just aware and they're looking back and say, oh yes, I'm not taking more of the pills for my stomach and I took them for two years. Or they say, oh yeah, this hurts not anymore. Or they say, oh yes, I'm sleeping better. Yeah, these are soft uh, things. Sometimes it's, uh, it's dramatic, uh, the change. I remember once I had a, a person, um, uh, um, he was a swimmer and uh, he was very good in the swimming and then he had a surgery, a little intervention and he was not able to swim anymore after that surgery. He was fighting in the water. So we did a session about that uh, surgery and he was swimming relaxed again. I use three criteria really uh, in doing this work because people often wonder, am I making it up or not? And so the very first past life regression did were really accidental. I was working in a medical practice, um, pain management, and I had a couple of individuals spontaneously regress back to past life. But I wasn't attempting to do past life. So the, it was still a question mark for me. Were they really, truly recalling past life? I wasn't sure. But one patient who came had chronic shoulder pain, seven years been diagnosed with areitis, you could imagine. They tried a number of different treatments unsuccessfully. So I was going to do hypnoanesthesia. She spontaneously regressed to a past life as a slave where she's stealing food for her starving son. She's caught and beaten to death. And in the process, they stomp on her shoulder. I took her through the session. She came out and that shoulder pain was gone forever. Right? Was she a slave? At the time, I said, I don't know. And to me, it doesn't matter because I'm not trying to prove anything or sell anything. Her pain's gone, that's what, what's important. Was it a metaphor, was it a, a fantasy? At this point, I truly believe it. I mean, but I think you have to look at the results. How does it change your life, right? That's one. Another is if a person is um, imagining, purely fantasizing, is devoid of that kind of emotional charge. The person's crying, they're cold, they're afraid, they're excited, they're happy, they're joyful. If they're just imagining, I don't think you have that kind of um, charge. And the, and the third thing is, well, if you were gonna make up a story and tell me a story, why would you make up that story? Imagination um, is, I guess, the route to healing. Imagination is the biggest strength we have. Unless we can imagine anything, we cannot make it happen. So when a person comes to me saying, what if I imagined this? It is possible that anything could be done. I mean, in a palace of possibilities, anything could be true. And sometimes people do tell us that I could have got this memory from a, a movie I have seen or a book I have read or what someone said. What I understand is that in, in this present scenario, you are here with me uh, discussing a, um, a, an issue in a session why would you zone into only this field now? If you had to zone into it intellectually, you could do it anywhere, anytime. Why now? So yes, even if you've imagined it, the uh, what I feel is that regression therapy does not seek to prove that regression exists or past life exists, but it's based on the uh, objective of the session. If my objective is that I have an eczema and the eczema needs to go, if the eczema has gone, my story is done. I don't have to prove that you were a, a prince or a pauper for that eczema to go. Well, if you look uh, from the transpersonal point of view, um, I would say the effectiveness comes from the spiritual background of regression therapy. That in a way you can realize that you, you have dimensions that go beyond the brain. 
and beyond your personal history. And you can feel yourself like a, a soul with many stories and with a nature that is different from the body and the brain. So many people really feel the spiritual dimension through the sessions of regression therapy. Yeah, many people find meaning, of course find healing through things in this field and through sessions in this field. Uh, and they also can find a kind of uh, inner source of, source of wisdom that in a way we have, and we can call it higher self or our soul, that really can come in the sessions and uh, people can develop trust in the deepest side of themselves. That's the best, yeah. you know, more than the payment for the session is seeing the transformation, yeah. seeing the realization, seeing the healing take place. Thank you.